I've registered as an Arizona independent. I know some people might be a little surprised by this, but actually I think it makes a lot of sense. Girl, nobody's surprised by this. We're shocked that it took you this long. In an interview with CNN's Jake Tapper, Arizona Senator and former registered Democrat, Kristen Sinema, confirms that she is now independent. And before I continue, as a leftist progressive, I would like to welcome her to how she identifies and who she is, or in her case, who she's always been. With that said, people are going to have some things to say about her, and no one knows it more than, well, her. Been a, a target of the left, and people have been very critical of you. They're going to call you every name in the book after this comes out. They're going to call you a traitor. They're going to call you an ingrate. W what are you going to say? Well, I think I'll do what I always do, Jake, which is keep doing the work that I know is important for my state. There are claims that this move by cinema is, quote, a narcissist's desperate cry for attention and a politician's desperate tactic to get to a general election without a primary. Some, like TYT's host of The Damage Report, John Iardella, points out that not very many people like or approve of cinema anyway. And there are others who are mad because all of the work that Democrat organizers, and donors for that matter, put in to get cinema elected. Let me pause right here and say that a potential issue for Dems is, well, as you know, the balance of power in the Senate is 51-49 with Warnock's victory over Walker. When asked if this would change, cinema said, That's kind of a DC thing to worry about. What I'm really focused on is just making sure that I'm doing what I think comports with my values and the values of Arizonans. So when I come to work each day, it'll be the same. I'm going to still come to work and hopefully serve on uh, the same committees I've been serving on and continue to work well with my colleagues of both political parties. And I'm not really spending much time worrying about what the mechanics look like for Washington, D.C. And to be honest, Jake, I don't think anyone in Arizona is caring about that either. Um, so I don't think things will change much for me. And I don't think things will change much for Arizonans. But an issue for cinema could be how well would she do in her future re-election campaign? And would this open the door for a Carrie Lake bid in the Senate? We'll see if cinema, acting in her own best interest, as usual, impacts the balance of power in the Senate and how it affects Biden's last two years in office. With that said, as former Ohio State Senator and current host of Unbossed on TYT said, call me when a senator decides to leave the corporate party. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. We negotiated with the Senate. So what does that mean? Well, in the Senate, we no longer have 60 votes. Some would argue that we never had 60 because one of those was Joseph Lieberman. But that's whatever. Um, yeah, and Nelson too, but really Lieberman. Um, so, so now there's, um, I think as the president so eloquently said on Wednesday, there's none of this pressure this false pressure to get to 60. So what that means is that um, the Democrats um, can stop uh, kowtowing to Joe Lieberman and instead seek other avenues. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.